there has been a lot of debate and talk about the role of CFOs. You must have heard. Emerging role of CFOs, evolving role of CFOs. Why there is so much question? But these are good legitimate questions because there is really, really so much confusion. Even within CFO community, what is the role? As I said, some say, some would say that uh, controlling is the main role. Some would say business partnership is the main role. I created an analogy of the role of CFO. So think of a high performance business as a high performance automotive car. And before you start a journey in a high performance business car, what you want to do, you want to ensure that there is a right functionality, there is a right air pressure in the tire, the battery is working, the electrical system is okay, right? Same for the business. Before you really start a big venture or start running a high performance business, you want to ensure all the parts of the business is working properly. This is done by back-end department, production, quality, engineering, are, they, they take care of the business, right? A supply chain, everything is working functional. But as soon as you start the journey in a high performance car or high performance business, three critical front end roles come to the picture. Three critical roles. Number one, CEO of course. CEO is the driver of that high performance car sitting in the driving seat. And his role is to steer the car in the right direction. And CEO knows the destination very clearly where he has to go. Second role, sales and marketing. They are totally focused on running the car at a good speed. So they are focused on the accelerator of the gas pedal. Keep running the car. And whatever the car is speed, CEO is going to steer and drive in the right direction. The third important critical role is CFO, sitting next to CEO, next passenger seat. What is the role of CFO? Two roles. Number one is the controls and compliance. So you have brakes in the car, right? Why do you have brakes in the car? To stop the car? That's the wrong mindset. You have the brakes in the car so that you could drive the car faster. That's exactly the reason of the controls and compliance. And we have misunderstood ourselves and we have make it, made it misunderstood by our business partners that controls are to really make my job difficult. No, it's there to help you run your business faster. So that's the role of CFO. So that is why CFO all the time, for, not necessarily CFO is pushing pressure on the brakes. That's not the job. He just wants to ensure that it's very well functionable. So when there is a need, he would put the pressure on the brakes to avoid further damage. This is exactly you do in the car driving, right? That's the role of CFO. The other important role of CFO is a navigator. Navigator. So CEO knows the destination. For example, driving from California to New York, CEO knows that I'm going in the direction of New York. But which highway to take? Which turns to make? Which directions? That's the role of CFO. Guide from street to street. No, don't go this highway. There is a work going on or there is a bad patch, don't go there. Take this highway, take this turn. Role of CFO, navigator or a dashboard. Why would CEO, if you are a CEO, or if you are a driver of a good performance car, why would you rely on a G GPS? What are the conditions that you would rely? Two conditions. Number one, you would ensure that the GPS is a good functionality. GPS is a good brand. So you know that it would not really malfunction, number one. Number two, you would ensure that GPS has very updated maps. Very important. Maps are changing. If the GPS does not have the updated maps, you might be misguided. You might lose, lo get lost. So these are the two condi conditions you would ensure. Think of the high performance business. Why CEO should rely on a CFO as his navigator? Two conditions again. Do you have a good brand, your reputation, your character? Because what you think is not important, what CEO thinks is important, number one. Number two, what is updated maps? Updated maps is your understanding of the value creation cycle of your business. Do you really understand that? Do you really understand the slide which I showed you? It could be a little different for your business. Do you deeply understand that? And if your CEO believes that you understand deeply that value creation cycle, he would trust you like a GPS, otherwise it would be very difficult. How many CFOs really understand or think or even believe that they have to spend time understanding the value creation model of their businesses.